Proponents of the bill say sports wagering would create more social problems that hurt families. Republican Representative Chris Fulgate said Monday, this is not legislation Kentucky can be proud of. But if legalized, sports wagering in Kentucky is expected to generate about $23 million in tax revenue, according to the bill's lead sponsor, Republican Michael Meredith. Indiana has been live for online wagering since October 2019, and since then, according to Forbes, more than $10 billion has been wagered in the Hoosier state. Of course, the Ohio River here is the state line, also the gambling line between Louisville and southern Indiana. If you're betting on an app like DraftKings, it won't work over there in Kentucky, but it will work here in Indiana. So a lot of folks are crossing the bridge to place their bets online and bringing their tax dollars with them. We have a few people who come over all the time and do it, um, guys on their phones doing it, and then I actually have one guy who comes in every once in a while and sits with his computer like it's his job. And like a job, there are taxes to be paid. But right now, that tax revenue is going to Indiana. Frank Marshall lives in Jeffersonville. He says Kentucky legislators are being hypocritical while missing out on millions in tax dollars. You have gambling over there right now. You have horse racing. You have, um, I mean, the lottery. You have casino over there. So you, why not bring in the sports betting also? It's going to bring a little extra revenue. I think it'd be a great thing. Under the bill, the Kentucky Horse Racing Commission would regulate sports wagering operations. Tax revenue would cover those regulatory costs. A percentage of the revenue would go into a fund focused on dealing with gambling addiction. Any leftovers would go into the state public pension system. The Kentucky State Senate is expected to take up the sports betting issue by the end of the month. And of course, we'll share the results of that vote when it happens. In the studio, Randall Cam, WLKY News.